If you're in South Dakota, you have to visit Custard State Park. It is the oldest and largest state park in South Dakota, and it covers about 71,000 acres in the Black Hills. They have three wonderful scenic drives, and we took the Wildlife Loop Road. When you're on this road, you have to see the begging burrows. There are about 15 of them, and they are in this one area on this scenic loop road. They will actually come up to your car if you have the windows down begging for food. And these burrows were great to visit and they were very friendly. Besides burrows, there are prairie dogs, mountain goats, elk, proghorn, deer, and bighorn sheep that you might see. But the biggest reason to visit Custard State Park is to see the bison. There are over 1,300 bison in Custer State Park, and it is the second largest public free roaming herd in the United States. We had almost finished our entire wildlife loop road drive before we came upon this herd. And once we saw them, we were amazed. And there were so many bison that we couldn't hardly count them all. When we were reading about Custer State Park, one of the things they said we had to do was get caught in a bison traffic jam. And we were lucky enough to do that as we were leaving the park. The bison were blocking the road and they were just not going to move. We had to wait about 20 to 30 minutes before the roadway finally cleared. Of interest, there is a Buffalo Safari Jeep tour and it is rated as one of the best safaris in the United States. Besides Custer State Park, the Black Hills are also home to Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore was authorized on March 3rd of 1925 and it was finished in 1941. Mount Rushmore has the heads of four U.S. presidents, Washington, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt, and their heads are 60 feet tall. We then visited Crazy Horse. It is a mountain monument that is still under construction and has been for the last 73 years. And has been for the last 73 years.